Hey everyone, it's Jason and in today's video I'm going to show you how to see or how to set up your camera system onto any computer. And the software we're going to use today is called the IVMS 4200. The good thing about this software is if you have multiple locations, let's say like your house, your office, a cottage, anything, uh, you'll be able to link them all onto this software and you'll be, a be able to see all your cameras at the same time. So I already got them installed right here. I just downloaded the software. I'm gonna, we're gonna walk through step-by-step -step how to set it up. In my description, I'm gonna have the links for this software. And this software is available on any computer and any Mac computer. Okay, so once you inst uh, download it, going to get this icon. I'm just going to double tap on it and you will get this. So you have to agree in order to download it. Just hit next. So because of software, if you do have card access or hike vision card access, then you could leave a lot of these checked. But because we're only doing uh, the camera part, this part here, we could uncheck. We're just going to be video and basic configuration. You can always add these down the road if you need to. Over here, mine is going to go automatically to my C drive, but if you need to change it, just click on the three dots and just tell it where you want it to download it. Then head over to install. Installation will take a bit. It'll take a few minutes just to install all the drivers. And once it's done, it, yeah, you'll get the uh, prompt saying uh, installing. There you go. So if you want to create a desktop icon, just make sure that's check marked. We do want it to launch, so I'm going to leave that check marked. So let's head over to finish. So once that's all done, you're going to get this. And what this is, it's just for the software. So we're going to create a username and password, and you can even have the option to do login. I'm just going to type in anything right now just to get this going auto login I don't recommend this especially if you're a shared computer then everybody has access to your cameras if you don't hit this every time you open up the um, the program it's gonna ask you to log in I'm doing auto login over here you need to do three security questions. This is simply if you forgot your password, it's going to ask you one of the three uh, passwords. I'm just typing in anything just uh, for this uh, tutorial. Then hit login. So now you'll get this page. So what we're going to do is we want to add our cameras to uh, the software. So we're going to head over here to Device Manager. And there's two ways of doing this. We could do right to where it says Add, or you could do Online Devices. I'll show you both ways. Online Devices is if you got your computer in the same network as your camera system, it's automatically going to detect it and it's easy to just add it that way. If you have the Hike Connect app on your phone and you want to add it through the Hike Connect, what you want to do is hit Add. Right here, you have a few options. Hike Connect's right here. So, what you got to do is click on Hike Connect. Now you have to select the region that you live in and you're going to do login. So now the login is actually your Hike Connect login from your app. So either when you first set up your account with the uh, Hike Connect app, uh, username is usually an email or your uh, cell number. And that's going to be your username and the password is what you use to create it. 
And once you do this, the only good reason I probably would recommend doing it this way, it automatically loads right away. And if you have multiple um, locations, like I was talking about, if you have your office, your home, uh, cottage, it all show up here. But let's say you don't want it, you just want your office cameras as an example, then I wouldn't log in this way. So what we're gonna do is just hit, I'm just gonna close this right now and I'm gonna go to online devices. So I got a few cameras I just set up right now just to do this. This is my camera system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check mark it and then I'm gonna hit add. And now you're gonna get this. This is simply the name is whatever you wanna call it. username of the actual recorder the username automatically is admin and the password is the password of your recorder so once you have that all filled out all you have to do is hit add and wait for right here and once it says online that means you did it correctly if you didn't do it correctly you could always go to the edit right here click on it and try a different password if you think the password's wrong the username on should be 100 percent should be admin the password is uh, what you use to log into your recorder if you don't know it, you might have to contact your installer and just ask him what your password is. Okay, so once you have it added, you're gonna go to the top left-hand side right here. Click on that. Now you're gonna hit main view. So here's what we just added. So mine, I named it Home Cameras, and it's right here. So all you got to do is press the play button. And all your cameras should pop up right away. And that's all to it. So guys, if you have any questions, give me a comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching.